Congratulations and thank you to the class of 2022. The Dodgeville High School staff has created this video to highlight some of yours and our favorite accomplishments, memories, and words of wisdom. We appreciate everything you've done here at Dodgeville High School and please enjoy. Braden Alexander is the son of Jessica and Sean Scott. His siblings are Ashlyn and Parker, and he participated in football and ran track in his high school career. He will be attending college for electrical. Congratulations, Brayden, and good luck. Paul Angel, son of Tim and Myra Angel, brother of Samuel Angel. Paul will be attending UW-Madison in the fall. At this time, he's undecided with the hope to go to law school or possibly graduate school. In high school, Paul was involved in both cross country and golf. One of his favorite memories of his high school years is going to sporting events. An accomplishment from high school that he is most proud of was being able to keep his grades up and working hard. Advice to underclassmen in order to be more successful in school is do your best and don't miss out on opportunities. Paul's favorite quote is fortune favors the bold by Virgil. He'd like to tell his parents thank you and to have fun in solitude. Congratulations, Paul. Will Arendt is the son of Renee and Rob. He has a brother named Lane. After high school, he will be attending UW La Crosse to study physical education teaching. He has been involved in track and field, cross country, basketball, Spanish club, FFA, and National Honor Society. And his favorite memory is having the entire boys and girls team compete at state in cross country. Also, his senior year of homecoming was amazing. One accomplishment he'd like to highlight is qualifying for state in cross country and track. He worked so hard to get to that level of competition and he loved every second of it. He says the community around cross country and track is so positive and welcoming that I wanted to show the coaches and parents attitude can help an average Joe like me get to state. His best advice for underclassmen Take some risks every once in a while. You're only in high school once. His favorite quote, compare yourself to who you were yesterday, not who someone else is today. And one thing he'd like to leave with his family, I would not be the man I am today without you. The sacrifices you have, you have made for me do not go unnoticed. I know that no matter where life takes me, I will have a shoulder to lean on. I am and will forever be grateful for the support you have given me. Congratulations, Will, and best of luck. Dakota Ball, son of Amanda Stephan, brother of Charisma Ball. What does Dakota plan on doing after high school? Continue working. Dakota's favorite quote is, the biggest adventure that you can take is to live the life of your dreams. Caitlin Berg, daughter of Corey and Mary Berg, and sister to Paige, Austin, and Maddie. After high school, Caitlin plans on attending UW Oshkosh for either elementary education or human resources. While in high school, Caitlin participated in FFA, DECA, and Spanish Club, and also danced for Betty Hayes. A favorite memory that Caitlin has during high school is just the relationships that she has made with her peers over the last four years. One accomplishment that she's most proud of is having mostly A's during her senior year. And some advice she'd give to underclassmen is don't take the easy way out and take the hard classes to make yourself better prepared for college and not to take anything for granted and just have fun. These four years go by so fast, so enjoy it while it lasts. A favorite quote Caitlin has is, be the change that you wish to see in the world from Mahatma Gandhi. And one thing she'd like to say to her parents is, thank you mom and dad for always supporting me and, have, and helping me every step of the way. You guys mean the world to me and I wouldn't be where I am now without you. You taught me how to be respectful, kind, compassionate, helpful, and many other things. And you've never doubted me and raised me to believe that I can be anything that I want to in this world. And you've always pushed me the, to be the best that I can be. I love you, mom and dad. Congrats, Caitlin. Taylor Berg is the daughter of Troy and Stacy. Her siblings are Kylie, Brayden, Gage, and Tony. She will be working at Oakwood Village as a CNA after she graduates. 
She was involved with managing gymnastics all four years of high school. And her favorite memory would probably be making blanket forts in the classroom in the library. Congratulations and good luck. Emma Bloom, daughter of Kathy and Dave Bloom, siblings to Caitlin and Devin. She will be attending a two-year college, Southwest Technical College, studying criminal justice with an emphasis in forensics. Her career goal is working in the DCI in their field operations unit. She was involved in volleyball, basketball, soccer, softball, trap shooting, and Spanish club. Her favorite memory is TPing houses during homecoming week her senior year. Her one accomplishment in high school that she's the most proud of is being the captain in the three of her four sports I, she played and also being a high school president and treasurer of the trap shooting team. The best advice you can give? Be involved in things you love. Her favorite quote, if you change your mindset, you have the ability to change the whole world. And to her parents, I know I don't say it enough, so thank you for everything you do for me. All the sports fees, going to all my games, no matter how far, taking pictures of me and my teammates for us to share, and most importantly, always supporting me no matter what. Tara Brabender, daughter of Tony and Susan Brabender, brother Seth. After high school, Tara plans on majoring in pre-vet in the University of Wisconsin Platteville. Tara's favorite memory of high school is spending time in the senior forward classroom and getting credits for graduation. The best advice that Tara can give to underclassmen would be to ask questions if you're unsure of yourself. Tara's favorite quote is your future is only as good as the work you put into it. Congratulations, Tara. It is my pleasure to introduce to you Annabelle Bradley. Annabelle is the daughter of Eric and Stacy Bradley, and her siblings are Austin and Elena Bradley. After high school, she will be attending the University of Wisconsin Eau Claire and majoring in nursing. During high school, she is involved in drama club, musical, key club, art club, band, dance team, color guard, NHS, Save the Rainforest, student council, and HOSA. Annabelle's favorite high school memory is of all the performances and rehearsals from the musical Once Upon a Mattress. About her accomplishments, Annabelle says, my senior year in general is something that I'm very proud of. I organize car drives for nursing homes, food drives, heart walks, school dances, as well as placing at state in an art competition. But the one I am most proud of is placing first at the state HOSA competition. Her best advice to underclassmen would be, join as many things as you can. Having a good support and network system will get you far in school. Annabelle's favorite quote, you only live once, might as well. And to her parents before she leaves the nest, I'd like to thank them for being constants in my life, for always supporting me and helping me through the harder times of high school. I wouldn't have been able to have done it without them, and I love them both. Congratulations, Annabelle. You're going to be an awesome nurse. Austin Bradley is the son of Stacy and Eric Bradley. His sisters are Annabelle and Elena. He'll be attending uh, UW Platteville after graduating to get a degree in elementary and middle education. When he was in high school, he was involved in boys' basketball, baseball, Key Club, National Honor Society, the Dodgeville City Recreational Department, and the Kiwanis Concession Stand. His favorite memory at high school was being involved in all the sports programs. The accomplishment he's most proud of is getting inducted into the National Honor Society because it showed that his hard work and his academics had paid off. His advice to incoming freshmen would be to get involved and work hard because high school flies by faster than you could ever imagine. And his favorite quote is, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take by Wayne Gretzky as quoted by Michael Scott. And one thing that he'd like to say to his parents is thanks for supporting me all these years. I appreciate and love you. Tyler Bradley, sibling to Claire Bradley. He's attending the University of Minnesota Twin Cities, studying history and economics and later attending law school. He wants to hopefully find himself a career where he can help others. In DHS, he participated in golf and soccer. He was also a member of Key Club, Student Council, Spanish Club, We Are Many United Against Hate. International Students Club, Current Events Club, 
DECA. He was on the president's and captain's table. He participated in band and in the musical. Outside of school, he worked at Land's End at Dodge Theater. He worked for the city recreation department, Pizza Hut, Bob's Electric, and the Governor D's concession stand. His favorite memory was sharing a hug with his dad on the 18th hole after he qualified to make it to state in golf his junior year. His advice for underclassmen is to work hard and go to school with an attitude of making everyone's day better. To his parents, Jeff and Jen, he would like to say thank you for everything you have put in to make me the person I am today. I love you guys, and I'm going to miss your physical presence next year, although I know you are always there with me. Congratulations, Tyler Bradley. Chloe Burson is the daughter of Carissa and Brooks and sibling to Landon. After graduation, Chloe plans to attend a four-year university, potentially UW-Madison online. During high school, Chloe was involved in Key Club, Spanish Club, International Club, National Honor Society, Student Council, and Dance Team. Her favorite memory from high school is when she learned not to drive in a snow squall and to always check the weather before impulsively taking a mini road trip. Chloe's proudest accomplishment from her time in high school is making it through school during COVID because being virtual was hard and she thought about giving up at times, but made it through. Chloe's advice for underclassmen is to form study groups and have friends who will hold you accountable and not to surround yourself with yes men. And finally, one thing Chloe would like to say to her parents is that she doesn't know what she's doing half the time, but that whatever plan she makes or actions she takes, she'll almost always have your support, and it is that support that made her the person she is today. Garrett Bush, son of Josh and Susan Bush. Siblings are Marley, Griffin, and Maddie. Garrett will be attending UW Lacrosse after high school. His high school involvements were football and basketball. His favorite memory through high school was homecoming week. He is proud of going 10 and 0 his senior year in basketball. His advice to underclassmen, pay attention in class and do your homework. His favorite quote, I love my haters. And he would like to thank his parents for their support throughout his high school career. Andrea Cadoza daughter of Paulina Nicole and Julio Cesar Condoza, sister of Ava Cole and Adrian Condoza. What does Andrea plan on doing after high school? Continue working in healthcare and to start eventual, eventually start a small business. Her favorite memory of high school includes the time that she was able to spend with friends. One major accomplishment that Andrea has is that she had the opportunity to work with Bill in the Seeing Forward program and able to finish high school. Her advice that she would give to underclassmen is to try to stay ahead of the game. And Andrea's favorite quote is to try to be a rainbow in someone's cloud. Congratulations, Andrea. Devin Cerruti, son of Daniel and Lori Cerruti, brother to Joseph and Vinny. Devin will be attending the University of Wisconsin-Madison next fall to major in engineering physics. While in high school, Devin was involved in golf, football, DECA, National Honor Society, and Skills USA. A favorite memory that he shared was watching the race between David Pipcorn and Sam Sims after the golf meet in the spring of 2021. One of Devin's accomplishments that he's most proud of while in high school was passing the AP Calc exam as a junior, knowing that that would help prepare him for college. Devin's favorite quote is, graduation is not the end, it's the beginning. Devin would like to thank his parents for all the support that they have given him throughout these years. Congratulations and best of luck, Devin. Justice Christensen, parents Dan and Becca Christensen, siblings Jackson, Georgia, and JC. After graduation, Justice plans to attend a technical college, Capri College in Dubuque, with her career goal of finishing school and eventually opening her own salon. While in high school, Justice was in gymnastics, volleyball, and FFA. One thing Justice would like to say to her parents before leaving the nest is she'd like to thank them for helping her through the tough years and tell them she appreciates them for everything they do. Cody Delave son of Paul Hanning, Christina Fryer, mother, Heather Barron, and Josh Barron. 
Cody has sisters and brothers of Keith, Olivia, Josiah, Brayden, and Kylie. What does Cody plan on doing after high school? He plans on attending Fox Valley Technical College, majoring in electrical or welding. One of Cody's favorite memories of high school was having a strong support team in place that provided faith and wisdom and pushed him in the right direction. One of Cody's major accomplishments in high school was having faith in himself to finish high school this year instead of next. Cody's advice to underclassmen would be don't give up and when you hit rock bottom, seek out teachers who have the patience to help you. Congratulations, Cody, and good luck in the future. Cal Damp, son to Mike and Heather, brother to Zoe. Cal has enlisted in the Air Force and leaves for training on July 19th. He has been involved in cross country, track, the Spanish Club, and National Honor Society. His favorite memory of high school is interviewing Mr. Martin and Mr. Bonsack while eating spicy chicken wings. He is most proud of his senior track season. He says he worked very hard in the off season and seeing that payoff has been very rewarding. The best advice that he could give an underclassman in order to be successful is to listen to that voice that tells you what you can do. His favorite quote, discipline is doing what you hate to do, but nonetheless doing it like you love it. And the one thing he would like to tell his parents as before he leaves the nest once I'm gone, the house is about to get a lot more boring. It is my great pleasure to introduce Will Decker. Will's parents are Jesse and Melissa Decker, and he has an older brother, Mason. Will will be attending the University of Minnesota Twin Cities to study journalism with an emphasis on newspaper editing. Will was involved in GSA, NHS, public library page, ballet, theater, band, and orchestra. About Will's favorite high school memory, he says, I love marching band. It's always such a joy to feel the unity and spirit that comes out during games, especially when you're right in the middle of it in the band. About his favorite accomplishment, Will says, I got a perfect score at District Solon Ensemble two years in a row. Music is a huge part of my life, and it was incredibly rewarding to see my practice and dedication pay off. Will's advice to underclassmen, get your work done on time. The sooner you finish it, the more time you will have to spend on things you love. His favorite quote, being a gentleman has nothing to do with the circumstances of one's birth. Being a gentleman is something one learns. Harry Hart, the Kingsman. To his parents before he leaves the nest, he says, sorry guys, I think I'm now contractually obligated to cheer for the twins during baseball season. And to that, I say, on Wisconsin. Congratulations, Will. Jaron Dasher, parents Melissa and Raymond Dasher, siblings Caitlin Dasher. After graduation, Jaron plans to attend a technical college for two years, Southwest Tech for welding. His favorite quote is, don't let the world decide who you are, you decide who you are, by Garth Brooks. Samantha Esch, daughter of Amy and Anthony Esch, sister to Allison, Thomas, and Caitlin. After graduating from DHS, Samantha plans to attend the University of Wisconsin Stout and study either real estate or business. Some of her DHS high school involvements were volleyball, FFA, working at Culver's all four years, and working at her cousin's apple orchard. Her favorite memory was the neon dance during senior year because it was so much fun. She is most proud of having all of her high school credits in halfway through her senior year. Her best advice for underclassmen is don't forget to apply for scholarships when you are a senior or even a junior. Her favorite quote is, don't ever let anyone tell you your worth. And to her parents, Amy and Anthony, she would like to say, don't have too much fun without me. And I love you guys. Congratulations, Samantha Esch. Ramiro Fontura, son of Alfredo and Nilsa Fontura, brother to Diego. Ramiro is undecided as to what he's going to do after he graduates. He was a track Spanish club yearbook club and he was also the DJ for Homecoming and Spring Fling. His favorite memory is a fighting Will in the lunchroom, as a joke, of course. The one accomplishment from high school he is most proud of is going out for track as a senior because he says, 
It's nothing I would have thought of when I was a freshman. The best advice he could give an underclassman in order to be more successful in school is to get more involved early on in high school or you'll regret it when you're older. His favorite quote is, I think I'm cool, that's all that matters, by Tyler the Creator. The one thing he'd like to tell his parents before he leaves the nest, love y'all. Jackson Forseth, son of Angie Forseth and Jean Doherty, brother to Jacob and Justine Forseth and Chewy and Allison Doherty. After graduating, Jackson is undecided about what his future plans are. Jackson was also very involved in high school sports. He was a player in basketball, baseball, and football. One of his favorite memories was that three-pointer on senior night against Richland Center. Best advice he could give an underclassman to be successful was to make the most of the time you get because it goes by fast. Ivy Gao is the daughter of Lindy Lee and Song Gao. Her siblings are Elvin and Kevin, and next year she'll be going to UW-Madison to study biology. In high school, she's been involved with Key Club, NHS, and Current Events Club, and some of her favorite memories have been homecoming weeks. The best advice she would give to an underclassman to be more successful is to do your work and take classes you will enjoy. And her favorite quote is, nothing is impossible. Dylan Garthwaite, son of Nicole Hotman and Jeff Garthwaite. Siblings are Ava and Sawyer Garthwaite and Connor Hotman. Dylan plans on attending Edgewood College for Business. He was involved in basketball, baseball, football, and NHS. His favorite memory was senior night in basketball where all eight seniors scored. He is proud to have scored 1,000 points because it has always been a goal of his and he worked extremely hard to get there. His advice to underclassmen is to apply yourself and get involved in whatever interests you because these four years go by fast. His favorite quote, it always seems impossible until it's done. And he would like to thank both parents for believing in him and supporting him always. Jacob Gatchel, son to Melanie Meckley. While in high school, Jacob was involved in FFA in trap shooting. And the senior spotlight is for Mary Lou Jeru. Specifically, Mary Lou, after she graduates, plans on going to a four-year university. While she's still undecided, she's looking at business communication or marketing as potential career opportunities. Within high school, she was involved with Cross Country, Key Club, International Student Club, The Play, The Musical, Track and Field. And her favorite quote is, One small positive thought can change your whole day. By Zig Ziglar. Sarah Graber. Sarah is the daughter of Dana and Rick Graber and big sister to Grace and Jack. After graduation, Sarah is undecided at this time. But while she was in high school, she was involved in volleyball, trap, and softball. Advice to underclassmen. Have a positive mindset going into class get engaged and actually want to learn the material. It also helps to have good study buddies in some classes. She would like to say to her parents, thank you. Congratulations, Sarah. Abe Gruno's parents are Jen and Guy Gruno. His siblings are Ella, Eli, and Liam. He will be attending Southwest Tech for cosmetology. One accomplishment that he is most proud of is honestly making it through COVID and virtual learning. Those two years were the worst and most stressful that he has ever felt. The best advice he has for underclassmen is don't stress it too much. It feels crazy at the moment, but you look back and only realize what high school actually taught you. Not the curriculum, but the lessons, the values, who you want to be and what you need to do to get there. You don't apply what you learn in high school in the real world. Stay true to yourself no matter what and stand up for yourself. Know your worth. His favorite quote is, don't let the world change your smile. Let your smile change the world. One thing that he would let to, like to let his parents know is, thank you for preparing me for this moment. I would not have made it this far without you guys. Congratulations and good luck. Ella Gruno is the daughter of Jen and Guy. Her siblings are Abe, Eli, and Liam. 
She will be attending the University of Wisconsin La Crosse for kinesiology and or business. She was involved in Key Club, FBLA, soccer, basketball, captains and presidents, and first team all conference for soccer in her high school career. Her favorite memory was transferring back to Dodgeville her senior year and having the best last year of high school. One accomplishment that she is most proud of is being able to transfer back to Dodgeville and adapt to all the change and finally making it to graduation. The best advice she has to underclassmen is getting get involved. Try new things, push yourself, meet new people, get out of your comfort zone, try to be positive and be kind. We were all scared underclassmen at some point. Her favorite quote is the pain you feel today will be the strength you feel tomorrow. One thing she would like to let her parents know before she leaves the nest is thank you for always supporting me, no matter what it was I was doing and raising me to be the best version of myself. You inspire me to push myself to be successful in whatever I'm doing, and I'm proud to be your guys' daughter. Love you always, Ella. Congratulations, Ella, and good luck. Melanie Gantz, daughter of Rhonda and Dan Gantz, sister Brittany Timmons. What does Melanie plan on doing after high school? She plans on attending a technical college at Southwest Technical for interior design. When Melanie was attending school, she was a wrestling cheerleader, a volleyball player, choir, key club, and a yearbook member. Her favorite member of high school was that there was a lot of stress in her classes, but she had the determination to secede. A major accomplishment from high school that she's most proud of is that she was always proud of herself and for every art project that she did. Her best advice to give to underclassmen is that I wish that I had made the most of my time and made wiser decisions early on. Classes were not as daunting as they were made out to be. You can be successful as long as you have the bright mindset. If there's ever an activity that you would like to try and that you no longer wish to continue, take a risk and try something new. Lastly, savor every minute with your friends and teammates and your teachers because you never know that that might be the last time that you're all to get together again. Mel's favorite quote is that things turn out best for people who make the best out of the ways things turn out. And before she leaves the house, she wishes to thank her mom and her dad by giving the best advice that to her mother, she thinks she would like to thank her for never giving up on me and teaching me no matter what happens, that I've come out stronger and smarter. And to her dad, she likes to say thank you for teaching me the right things in life and helping me grow up to be who she is today. And thank you both for everything that you do and thank you for helping me graduate. Aiden Halverson is the son of Sam and Danielle. His siblings are Kira, Jace, Ridge, and Teague. He will be looking at working full-time after he graduates high school. He was involved in baseball, basketball, and FFA in his high school career. His favorite memory is baseball with the boys. It's too hard to pick one memory. His one accomplishment that he's most proud of is winning conference in baseball last year. His best advice to underclassmen is don't be boring. His favorite quote is heroes get remembered, but legends never die. Follow your heart, kid, and you'll never go wrong. The Sandlot. The one thing he'd like to say to his parents before he leaves is you got to do this four more times. Congratulations and good luck. Carly Hansen, daughter of Jen and Terry Hansen. Siblings are Leo and Peyton. Carly will be attending UW Oshkosh, majoring in medical imaging and an emphasis in sonography to become an ultrasound technician. Carly was not involved in extra extracurricular activities, but was supportive of events such as homecoming and building floats and attending sporting events. Her favorite memory and accomplishment was homecoming her sophomore year when they beat the seniors in Powder Puff. The best advice she could give to an underclassman, just do your work, it's not that hard. You can do anything you set your mind to. Don't procrastinate and ask for help when you need it. And her message to her parents, it's okay, I'll be back, maybe. Alan Hauser, son of Jacqueline Hauser, brother of Julia, Allie, and Matthew. AJ plans to attend UW Platteville, majoring in industrial engineering. 
AJ's involvements in high school were the video game club and the book club. He also helped for the sophomore float and for one year, the concession stand. AJ's favorite memory of high school was when he got his fingernail ripped off by the metal grinder and in AJ's book, that was pretty cool. His best advice to underclassmen is to be more successful, to be more successful in school was just to show up. And his favorite quote, is from Deadpool, which is, that's just lazy writing. And his advice to his parents upon leaving the nest is, see you later. Congratulations, AJ. Shannon Heights is the daughter of William Heights and April McCluskey, and the sister to Zach Myers. After graduating high school, Shannon plans to stay working at Upland Point Corporation. During high school, she was a member of GSA, and her favorite memory during her high school years was hanging out with friends at lunch. Her proudest accomplishment was graduating early. The best advice she can give to an underclassman to be more successful is don't make high school so hard for yourself and have fun because the years go by fast. Her favorite quote is, I'm not shy, I'm protecting myself. I'm not bitter, I'm speaking the truth. I'm not hanging on to the past. I've been damaged. I'm not disillusional. I lived a nightmare. I'm not weak. I was trusting. I'm not giving up. I'm healing. And one last thing she would like to say to her parents before leaving the nest is thank you for everything for the past 18 years. It was a roller coaster. Thank you for always being there when I needed you. Paris and Helen, parents Alyssa and Harold Helen, siblings Hank, Harvey, and Huxley. After graduation, Harrison plans to attend a university, Iowa State University, majoring in agricultural business, but someday planning to take over his dad's financial advising business. While in high school, Harrison was in cross country, football, track, FFA, and DECA. And his favorite memory of high school was the first time he walked onto the football field. He felt that's what high school was all about. One accomplishment from high school he's most proud of is that he was true to himself throughout high school and he makes him a happier individual because of it. The best advice he could give to an underclassman was that he went out for football his senior year. So don't be afraid to go out of your comfort zone and just have fun. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take, quote Michael Scott. He'd like to thank his parents for shaping him into the person he is today, and he will always remember what they've done for him and what they will continue to do for him. So thanks, and he loves his parents. Augustine Herr is the daughter of Ronald Lewis and Brian Zins. She has siblings, Joy Peterson and Vincent Lewis. After high school, she's not sure uh, what her plans are, but throughout her time here at DHS, she has been involved in art club as an exemplary artist. One thing she wants to let her family know is thank you for taking such good care of me. Congratulations and best wishes, Augie. Allison Hickman is the daughter of Zach and Rose Hickman and the older sister to Cassie and Erica. After she graduates, she plans to start working at the Hodan Center in Mineral Point. Her favorite class while in high school was choir. One of her greatest accomplishments that she is most proud of is finishing all of her homework on time. The best advice she can give to underclassmen would be to give them knuckles and to say, keep on trying. One last thing she'd like to say to her parents before she graduates is, I graduated high school and I love you both. Jacob Lavak, son of Jason and Carla Lavak, brother Jarek. What does Jacob plan on doing after high school? He plans to attend Southwest Technical College with a career of welding. Jacob was involved in the football team, the wrestling team, and the trap team. His favorite memories of high school includes making new friends along the way. What was a major accomplishment of Jacob was making it through high school in COVID. His best advice to underclassmen in order to be more successful in school was just be yourself and don't worry about making other people happy. His favorite quote comes from his father, which is, don't do stupid stuff. And his words of encouragement for his parents as he leaves the nest is he wishes to thank them for the support and pushing him through the best years 
of school. Max Heaney, son of John and Kristen Heaney, sibling of Alex and Lexi. Max is planning on attending the University of Wisconsin at Platteville to go into electrical engineering. In high school, he was involved with soccer, golf, key club, National Honor Society, Spanish club, and also worked at Land's End. One of his favorite memories of high school is getting to participate in the homecoming activities like the parade and the powder puff games in his senior year with both his friends and his family. An accomplishment that he is most proud of while in high school is taking many AP courses as well as taking leadership roles in clubs as I think it challenged me and prepared me for my future. Advice to underclassmen in order to be more successful in school, Max says, don't push work off until it piles up. You won't be more efficient. You'll just suck at it. One of his favorite quotes is, the only limit to our realization of tomorrow will be our doubts of today by Franklin Roosevelt. Max would like to tell his parents, thank you for always supporting and never challenging whatever path I wanted to take in high school and never failing to show up to all of my extracurricular events. Congratulations, Max. Sarah Johnson is the daughter of Lisa Johnson and the sister of Jenny May. Next year, she'll be attending the University of Tennessee at Knoxville, and she is planning on majoring in biology with a minor in business. In high school, she was involved in soccer, volleyball, HOSA, Key Club, and NHS. And one accomplishment that she received in high school that she's most proud of is getting top 10 in her class. The best advice she has for underclassmen is that it's not lame to try. Working hard will pay off in the long run. And her favorite quote is, whatever you are, be a good one. One thing she'd like to say to her mom is thank you for getting me through high school and being my biggest supporter. Brighton Judd, son to Heather Olson and Dan Judd, brother to Langdon and Garrison Judd. After graduation, Brighton is going to work on the family farm. While in high school, he played football, did wrestling, FFA, 4-H, orchestra, Skills USA, track, trap suit, uh, shooting, worked on the family farm, and was recently hired at Larry Service Station in Linden to work in the shop changing tires and oil. Brighton's favorite memory from high school was playing JV football, where they won two all but two of their football games. One of his many accomplishments from high school that he's most proud of is making second team all-conference wrestling his senior year. The best advice he can give to underclassmen to be more successful is don't get behind in your schoolwork and enjoy your four years of high school to the fullest. Go to dances and attend as many events as you can. The four years will go by faster than you think. His favorite quote, It's a Great Life If You Don't Weaken, by Jerry Grandpa Olson. What's one thing he liked to say to his parents before they leave the nest? Don't worry, Mom and Dad, I'm never leaving, at least until I'm financially stable. Thank you for just being my Mom and Dad and always supporting me in the things you do. Thank you for all the rides to practice, and thank you for making me making it to all my sporting events, not missing a one. Thank you for pushing me to be a better person. I love you. Hunter Judd, son of Amanda Judd, brother of Cameron Judd. After high school, Hunter plans to continue working at Land's End and in the fall attend a technical college. Hunter's favorite memory of high school was meeting new friends. One of his major accomplishments was graduating early. And Hunter's favorite quote is, the best is yet to be. Congratulations, Hunter, and good luck in the future. Mira Camus, daughter of Tiffany and Kurt Camus, sister of Brayson, Kane, and Scarlett. Mira plans on going to college with the areas of animal science and agua business technology. Her accomplishments of high school included working on the family organic dairy farm morning and night, and still 
able to graduate early. One of Mira's famous favorite quotes is to work smarter, not harder. Congratulations, Mira. Keegan Kellogg is the son of Karina Kellogg and Mark Kellogg, and his sister is Vanessa. Next year, he'll be attending UW Platteville for mechanical engineering. One accomplished from high school that he's most proud of is surviving AP US history, and he advises underclassmen that if the if they get the option to take a textbook home for the summer for an AP class, take it and read it. One thing he wants to say to his parents before he leaves the nest, see you next spring. Caleb King, son of Abby White and Joe King, brother of Caden White, Montana Kirkpatrick, and Caden King. Caleb plans on working after high school. His favorite memories of high school was taking Woods class with Mr. Budasov and working on classes in the Scene Forward classroom. His best advice that he would give to underclassmen to be some more successful in school would be to stay on task and get your work done. And Caleb's favorite quote is keep looking up. Good luck, Caleb. Brendan Knudsen son of Ruth Ann Carlson, brother of Brett Knudsen. Brendan plans on finding employment in the mechanics area. Brendan's favorite memory of high school was meeting new friends, plus working with teachers that understand that all students learn differently. One of Brendan's fondest memories of high school and proudest accomplishments was Passing Science 9. And Brendan's favorite quote is push as hard as you can. Congratulations, Brendan. Max Conop is the son of Deanna and Jeff Conop and the brother of Jake. After graduation, he's headed to UW Platteville to major in robotics engineering. In his years at DHS, he's been involved in student council, DECA, Key Club, NHS, Skills USA, Forensics, Trap Shooting, Track, Musical, Play, Instrumental Music, Orchestra, and Choir. His favorite memories of high school involve spending every Friday afternoon playing games and watching movies with his group of friends. His, most, his proudest accomplishment is being chosen to represent the student body as a student council co-president. The fact that he was chosen to represent our school is the most tremendous honor he could have. His advice that you to give to under, underclassmen is be involved. You will not have any worthwhile memories if you don't participate in any memorable moments. Very sensible. And his favorite quote is, it's a leap of faith, Miles. That's all it is, a leap of faith. And one thing he'd like to say to his parents as he leaves the nest, I wouldn't be the person I am today without you. Thank you forever and always. Maya Kramer is the child of Kent and Amy Kramer and the sister of Will and Katie Kramer. After leaving DHS, she plans to go to UW-Madison and major in biomedical engineering. In high school, she was involved in student council, key club, dance team, Betty Hayes School of Dance, International Students Club, senior class president, president's and captain's table, girls soccer manager, FFA, and golf. Her favorite memory from high school was the day she learned that Martina was approved to move in with her and she gained a new sister and best friend. Of her accomplishments, Maya says the following. I am most proud of overcoming every obstacle that has been thrown my way over the past four years. From losing friends to making new ones, from classrooms to Zoom calls and back to classrooms again, from late nights to early mornings, and from I can't do this anymore to let's do it again. I have pushed through every obstacle I have faced, and though it may have torn me down, I have built myself back up stronger at the end of it all, and I could not be more proud of myself to see that all that I have accomplished. Advice to younger, younger students, make friends in all of your classes. It'll make it more far, far more enjoyable. Do your homework, it pays off in the end. Ask for help, you'll be surprised by how much you can learn, not only pertaining to the coursework, but to life and to your future. Her favorite quote is, it is not death that a man should fear, but he should fear never beginning to live. And the one thing she'd like to say to her parents before she leaves the nest, thank you for everything. Tevin Kuzmik son of Trisha and Austin Kuzmik. After high school, Tevin plans to attend Madison Area Technical College in pursuit of a degree in computer science and programming. His greatest achievement 
her involvement in high school includes being a member of the Boy Scout unit. His favorite quote is, while it's always best to believe in oneself, a little help from others can be a great blessing. Congratulations, Tevin. Cecilia LeConte, daughter of Jeff and Pam LeConte. Cecilia will be attending um, Southwest Technical College, taking liberal arts and transferring to UW Stout. The involvements she had in high school were art club, book club, GSA, visual arts classic, solo ensemble, choir, and the musicals. Her favorite memory was in garage band with Mr. Rantham. She was one of only 12 kids in the class and she met one of her best friends, A.J. Hauser. And because of the freedom in the class, they became best friends and she wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. One of the accomplish accomplishments she had in high school and is most proud of was the visual arts classic. She participated in it for three years and went to state in her short-term projects for that time. She was also one of seven chosen to run for the Sherry Zellweger Award. Her favorite quote, don't stop trying. Teachers are scary sometimes and they might fail you or not hold up to their promises they made, but there are good and kind teachers who will help you never stop reaching out. Her favorite quote, I got lost in this whole world and forgot who I am from the song House That Built Me. One thing she'd like to say to her parents, I'm going to make it. Annika Lord. Annika is the daughter of Brian and Regina and big sister to Ava and Tommy. After graduation, Annika plans to attend UW Platteville for animal science. While in high school, Annika was involved in softball, and that leads to her favorite memory of winning the 2021 state softball tournament in Green Bay. Advice to underclassmen, the teachers really are there to help you succeed. So don't be scared to ask questions or ask for help on certain things. Her favorite quote, the more time you spend contemplating what you should have done, you lose valuable time planning what you can and will do, Lil Wayne. And the one thing she'd like to say to her parents, thank you for always believing in me and pushing me to do my best even when I felt like giving up or didn't believe in myself. No matter how many times I have fallen down, you have both always been there to pick me back up and help me to better myself. Thank you for all of the opportunities that you have given me. I feel very lucky to have you guys as my parents. Congratulations, Annika. Harmon Luchens, son of Jeff and Brenda Luchens. Henry is his brother. Um, Harmon will be attending Southwest Tech uh, to complete his gen eds before transferring to a four-year college to study history after, gradu after he graduates. He was involved in drama, Boy Scouts, McDonald's, and the Pop Place. His favorite memory of high school is hanging out with friends. Um, accomplishment that he is proud of is getting his Eagle Scout as it took many years to complete. Best advice is to make sure that you do your homework to those underclassmen. Favorite quote, at sleeping or waking time, tis there I long to be. And uh, one thing that he'd like to say to his parents is to thank you and that he loves you both dearly. Congratulations, Harmon. This senior spotlight is for Martina Malcati, who was hosted by Amy and Kent Kramer. After Martina graduates, of course, she still has to complete her senior year of high school in Italy, but she wants to continue her education to be either a high school teacher or a college professor. One of her most fondest memories and accomplishments was that she got to be King Septimus for the play Once Upon a Mattress hosted here in Dodgeville. She never thought she'd have the opportunity to be in such a major role. One piece of advice that Martina would like to give all of us is get involved in what school has to offer. It's the easiest way to meet new people and form new friendships, and it's a great way to explore new interests or cultivate a passion that you never knew you had. Owen McDonald, son of Anne and Steve McDonald, siblings Lily and Ava. Um, Owen will be attending UW-Eau Claire for actuarial science. Um, Owen was in soccer, track and field, Spanish club, and must have spent some time at Taco Bell as well. 
his favorite memory. Um, Mr. Martin, now you're going to have the confession of who did it, but he was involved with setting up a living room in Mr. Martin's front yard. Um, accomplishment that Owen is proud of from high school is winning the stock market game. Um, it was very challenging and um, he celebrated uh, immensely at that uh, win. Um, Owen's advice is to join Spanish club if you're struggling in Spanish class. His favorite quote, when it rains, it pours. To his parents, thank you for working hard every day and being there for me at events and games. Owen also commented that he hopes that when he grows older, he could have a son as cool as yours is. Congratulations, Owen. Katie McIntosh, daughter of Melanie and Craig McIntosh, sister of Kyra, Gage, Clay, Ronnie, and Matthew. What does Katie want to do after high school? Continue working at the hospital in the environmental service department and continue working at Casey's. What is Katie's favorite memory? It's just being with friends. And what is one accomplishment from high school that Katie would like to share is that she was able to graduate with her class of 2022. What is the best advice that Katie wants to give to underclassmen and to be successful in school is to treat people the way you want to be treated. And Katie's favorite advice, her favorite quote, is success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. Congratulations, Katie. Kara McKellips is the daughter of Kendra Gullickson and Steve McKellips. Her siblings are Cheyenne and Carmen. She was involved in FCCLA and Key Club throughout her high school years and will be earning her FCCLA graduation cords this weekend. One accomplishment that Kara has from high school would be graduating a whole semester early. The advice that she would give to underclassmen would put yourself out there, be social, and join as many clubs as you can. Her favorite quote is, sometimes it's good to be scared. It means you still have something to lose. One thing she would like to let her parents know before she leaves is I will be just fine. Don't worry. Congratulations, Kara, and good luck. Drake McVeigh, son of Dewey McVeigh, brother to Parker McVeigh. After graduation, Drake is going to either be an apprentice or directly into work doing construction, concrete, or landscaping. While in high school, Drake was involved in football, basketball, baseball, FFA, key club, and worked at Land's End. His favorite memory from high school was everything. His advice that he would like to give underclassmen is to give it your all. Aaliyah Meckley, daughter of Jennifer Higgins, Brad Hermanson, Kevin Meckley, and Tara Meckley, and sister to Asen Hermanson, Vance Herid, and Matthew Gorman. She's currently undecided what she's going to do after high school, and during high school was involved in volleyball all four years while also working at House on the Rock and currently works at Land's End. A favorite memory of her high school years is freshman and senior homecoming, and an accomplishment that she's most proud of is always keeping up with her work and staying in the range of being in the top 30 out of all of her classmates because she worked really hard to get where she is today. One piece of advice that she has for underclassmen is to join all of the clubs that you can and be involved because that's something that she wishes she did. Make sure to be nice to everyone and to make new friends. And also make sure to stay on top of all of your work and don't be afraid to ask for help. One of Aaliyah's favorite quotes is, pain is temporary, swag is forever. And one thing she'd like to say to her parents before she leaves the nest is, thank you for always believing in me, no matter what I do, and always being by my side. I'm grateful to have the most loving parents and bonus parents that have helped me grow into the person that I am today. I love you all more than you could ever imagine. Congrats, Aaliyah. Elena Miro daughter of Jamie Mural. What does Elena plan on doing after high school? Finding employment. What is a favorite memory that she had while attending Dodgeville High School? Was meeting new friends. 
the advice that Elena gives to the underclassmen in order to be successful in high school is to stay on task. And Elena's favorite quote is, when things go wrong, don't go with them. Congratulations, Elena. Eduardo Might. Eddie is the son of Dan and Yolanda Might. After graduation, Eddie plans on going to Southwest Tech for Ag Mechanics. He is currently a diesel engine technician, but within a couple years, he plans on owning his own dairy farm and doing that full time. While in high school, he decided to go out for football his senior year. Best advice to underclassmen, get involved. You probably hear this a lot, but always think, will I regret not doing this 20 years down the road? His favorite quote, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Congratulations, Eddie. Dawson Miller. Dawson is the son of Amy and Darren Miller and brother to Max and Sawyer. After graduation, Dawson plans on working on the family farm. In high school, Dawson was involved in FFA and TRAP. His best advice to underclassmen, don't screw around, the four years go fast. His favorite quote, any fool can make a dollar, takes a smart one to save it. And the one thing he'd like to say to his parents before leaving, joke's on you, I'm not leaving. Congratulations, Dawson. Mason Mortimer, son of David and Marcia, brother to Kiana, Taryn, Raven, and Georgia. Congratulations, Mason. William Moyle is the son of Jennifer and William. His siblings are Sarah and Emma. Congratulations, William, and good luck. Tyler Murphy, son to Krista Murphy, brother to Mitchell and Brooklyn Murphy. After he graduates, Tyler plans to go to work for his family business. One major accomplishment that he's most proud of is actually graduating. His favorite quote, love your family, love your friends, love yourself. Congratulations, Tyler. Amy Nagel, daughter of Sherry and Darren Nagel, and sister to Levi, Isaac, and David. Amy is currently undecided on what she plans to do after high school, and while in high school, worked at Culver's for three years, House on the Rock for two years, and currently works at Bob's and most recently won Best of Show at the Richland Center Art Show. A favorite memory she has of her high school years is Dodger Corps with Mr. Ebel or art class. And an accomplishment that she's proud of is coming out as gay and fully opening up to her sexuality. She's proud to have accepted herself even if people around her did not. A piece of advice that she would give to underclassmen is don't care what other people think and don't fear conflict it's necessary to gain true friends. A favorite quote of hers is, a stupid man's report of what a clever man says can never be accurate because he unconsciously translates what he hears into something he can understand. And something she'd like to say to her parents is, I'll, I love you always. Congrats, Amy. Cardile Newbert is the son of Nick and Cynthia. His siblings are Kyson and Maverick. Congratulations, Cardell, and good luck. Kelsey Oxnum. Kelsey is the daughter of Jay and Amy Oxnum and big sister to Grace and Aubrey. After graduation, Kelsey will be attending Southwest Tech for accounting. While in high school, Kelsey was involved in FFA and volleyball. Her favorite memory, having to go online during COVID and getting to do school at home. Best advice to underclassmen, high school goes by faster than you think. Try and enjoy some of it. Kelsey's favorite quote, it always seems impossible until it is done. And the one thing she'd like to say to her parents, thank you for everything you have done for me and being by my side each step of the way. Congratulations, Kelsey. Mia Patterson will be attending the University of Wisconsin Oshkosh and majoring in anthropology. During her high school career, she has been involved in FCCLA, Key Club, DECA, International Students Club, Current Events Club, Wrestling Cheer, Student Managing for Girls Soccer, 
and acted in the DHS theater departments, yearly plays, and musicals. Outside of school, she worked at the Dodgeville Public Library. One accomplishment she was most proud of is making it to nationals for FCSCLA in her sophomore year. The best advice I could give to underclassmen is to stop being afraid. My senior year has been the best year of my life, only because I finally decided to approach people and create opportunities for myself to have a more fun and memorable high school experience, instead of being anxious about things that will hold no value in the next six months. To her parents, Sarah and Webb, she would like to say thank you for always wanting me to be the best version of me and pushing me to play an active role in creating my future. Congratulations, Mia Patterson. Linnell Peterson is the daughter of Krista Peterson and Josh Peterson. Her siblings are Blake, Jalen, Braley, Oakley, and Bentley. After high school, she plans to attend Southwest Tech to study child care. Throughout high school, she was involved in FFA, and her favorite memory is being able to see her friends every day. Her greatest accomplishment is that she was able to get herself through virtual learning, which coincides with her advice to underclassmen. Stay on top of your homework because it's hard to come back once you get behind. Her favorite quote, she believed she could, so she did. And one last message to her parents, thank you for always pushing me to do my best. Congratulations, Linnell, and best of luck. Nick Portson, son of Nick Portson and Ann Portson, and brother to Michaela Portson. After high school, Nick is attending Southwest Tech in business management. In high school, Nick was involved with football, bowling club, and 4-H. A favorite quote of Nick's is, tomorrow is a new day, don't worry about the past. And one thing he would like to say to his parents before he leaves the nest is thank you for all that you do and that you have done throughout my life. Abby Prohaska is the daughter of Stacy and Dan and sibling to Bryce. After graduation, Abby plans to attend Western Technical College to pursue a career in the medical field. During high school, Abby was involved in soccer, dance team, and the musical. Her favorite high school memory is attending the school dances. Abby's proudest accomplishment from her time in high school is making honor roll. Abby's advice for underclassmen is to be confident, have fun, and be involved. And finally, one thing Abby would like to say to her parents before she leaves the nest is love ya. Yvonne Reedmiller, daughter of David and Cheryl Reedmiller, siblings Krista, Leah, Kelly, Joe, and Zach. She is undecided of where she wants to go. Her favorite memory is going to the library. One accomplishment from high school bringing joy to others because everyone needs a little sunshine. Best advice she could give, don't give up, but take a breath or two when you need to. Her favorite quote, now what? Now what? What is one thing she'd like to say to her parents? Love you to the moon and back. Good luck, good little girl. It is my pleasure to introduce Kaylee Roshan. Kaylee is the daughter of Kevin and Denise Roshan, and she has siblings, Zach and Shane. After high school, Kaylee plans on attending North Central Technical College, where she will pursue a degree in nursing. In high school, she has been involved in Key Club, Cross Country, Track and Field, National Honor Society, and Skills USA. A favorite memory for her high school is running cross country with her classmates throughout her junior and senior year and creating such wonderful memories. An accomplishment that she's very proud of is gradu graduating early to pursue her dream to pay off the majority of her college debt before she even begins school. The advice she'd like to share with underclassmen is to focus on what your end goals are rather than getting caught up in the present. And her favorite quote is, everything happens for a reason. What she'd like to say to her folks before she leaves is, thank you for supporting me throughout my journey of high school, even though it was very much a roller coaster. You made me a very respectful human being and taught me that if I don't believe in my dreams, nobody will. Good luck in your future, Kaylee. Grant Rowe, son of Shelley Riley Rowe, brother to Danielle Rowe. After graduating, Grant plans to be employed or start an apprenticeship at TCS Floors and Showers. Um, he was involved in baseball, 
football, and basketball his senior year. His favorite memory was of baseball his junior season. His largest accomplishment was being part of all the sports teams, football, basketball, and baseball. Grant's word, best words of advice are try and push yourself to be the best you can possibly be. Never be satisfied. Always chase for something bigger. Favorite quote, don't doubt kills more dreams than failure ever will. And one thing he would like to say before he leaves the nest to his mother. I'd like to thank my mother, Shelly, for raising me to be the person I am today. I would not be where I am today without you. I'll be forever grateful for what you've done for me. Ethan Runehog Zinkel, sibling to Fox, Piper, and Winter Zinkel, Adeline, Audrey, and Eleanor Hoyer. At DHS, Ethan was a fascinating student to have in class. He was always a great participant in class discussion and asked some of the strangest questions I've ever seen. Ethan is planning on continuing his work at Quick Trip, working on his music, and living on his own. To his parents, Josh, Rachel, and Carson, he would like to say thank you. Congratulations, Ethan Rundhug Zinkel. Alex Salverson. Alex is the son of Thad Salverson and brother to Logan. After graduation, Alex is planning on attending UW Platteville and he'll figure it out. His best advice to underclassmen, walk faster in the halls. His favorite quote, a life ain't a life till you've lived it, Mac Miller. And the one thing he'd like to say to his dad, thank you for all the support throughout the years. Congratulations, Alex. I'll miss seeing you every day. Sandeep Sankar is the son of Pareth Sankar and Sujatha Balagangadharan. His sister is Sneha Sankar. He'll be attending UW-Madison next year, hoping to be, get involved in the evolving computer and space technology industry. He's been involved in Skills USA, Rocket Club, Math Team, National Honor Society, the Debate Team, Solo and Ensemble, DECA, and Student Council. And one of his favorite memories is taking physics too this year. He learned an awful lot in class. One accomplishment from high school that he's most proud of was competing as a freshman in DECA districts. Uh, that experience showed him that going outside of his comfort zone can greatly benefit him in the long run. The best advice he could give to an underclassman would be, don't be afraid to get involved and put yourself out there. Gaining accomplishments early in high school really helps when building a resume or college application when you graduate. His favorite quote is, he who has never failed somewhere, that man cannot be great. That comes from Herman Melville. And one thing he'd like to say to his parents before he leaves is, thank you for teaching me to be the best version of myself. Nora Sargent is the daughter to Steve and Susan Sargent and the older sister to Nevaeh. After high school, Nora plans to attend Southwest Tech for farm operations and management dairy. While in high school, Nora was involved in trap shooting. One of her greatest accomplishments that she is most proud of is being a full-time college student at Southwest Tech during her senior year. Her favorite quote is, enjoy life today because yesterday is gone and tomorrow is never promised. After leaving the nest, Nora has this to say to her parents. Mom and Dad, thank you for being my number one supporters and always pushing me to do my very best. Love you both. It is my pleasure to introduce Lily Shuckle. Lily is the daughter of Nick and Melody Shuckle, and she has siblings Wyatt and Natalie. During high school, Lily was involved in Key Club and FCCLA. And during high school, one of her favorite memories was going to the state gymnastics meet and watching everyone compete. During high school, Lily herself qualified to attend state uh, with FCCLA. And her advice that she'd like to give underclassmen is, don't be afraid to ask for anything, even if it doesn't have to do with homework. One thing she'd like to say to her folks before she leaves the nest, don't let Wyatt take my room. Good luck, Lily, in all your future endeavors. Proud of you. Mia Schrader Euler, sibling to Chase Helwig, Stephanie Euler, and Kelly Euler. She will be attending the University of Wisconsin-Madison, majoring in biology with a focus in neuroscience. At Dodgeville High School, she has been the president of NHS and HOSA. She made it to nationals in HOSA for veterinary science. 
and has also been involved in DECA and FFA freshman and sophomore years. She was a member of Key Club all four years and student council all four years. Outside of school, she participated in piano lessons and recitals, dance lessons and recitals, and completed on her horses and rodeo. Her advice to underclassmen is to go out there and do the things that you are afraid of. Get involved in as many things as you can comfortably manage and believe that you can do well. She would like to say to her parents, Cami and Robert, thank you for always encouraging me to get out there and try my best and succeed and be happy with everything that I do. Congratulations, Mia schrader Euler. Emily Shearer is the daughter of Shane and Angela. Her siblings are Brianna, Caitlin, Ashlyn, Avery, Oakley, and Bentley. She will be attending Western Technical College in La Crosse, Wisconsin for medical field. She was involved in trap shooting through high school, and her favorite memory is having Mr. Holzmer by her side every step. One accomplishment from high school that she's most proud of is not worrying about what others think of her. The best advice she can give to underclassmen is be involved in sports and get your work in on time and pay attention to the teachers, because if you don't pay attention, you'll fall behind. Her favorite quote is, all that I am and hope to be, I owe that to my dad, who believed in me the most. The one thing she'd like to say to her parents before she leaves is thank you, Dad, for everything that you have done for me. Thank you for never giving up on me, and I love you and will miss you so much. Stay strong. Congratulations and good luck. Allison Solberg Keeler. Parents, Leah Solberg and John Keeler. Sister to Clayton Solberg Keeler, Jesse Solberg Keeler, and Brett Keeler. After... Allison graduates. She'll be attending Lakeland University in sports management and leadership. While in high school, Allison was involved in soccer, cheer, and Spanish club. One of her favorite memories is sleeping in the hallways. And one accomplishment from high school that she was proud of, she realized that she wanted more out of classes and stopped doing the bare minimum. She really improved her self-image and motivation. The best advice she can give to underclassmen is that grades aren't everything, but you'll feel more accomplished if you do your best. Allison's favorite quote, you have to stop searching for why at some point, you have to leave it alone. And one thing she would like to say to her parents, I truly appreciate everything you've given and done for me. I promise to make good use of my opportunities and I strive to make you and others proud. Thank you. I love you. Way to go, Allie. Eamon Stone is the son of Mary and Caleb. His siblings are Rory, Mackie, and Ash. He will be attending Oklahoma State for film production after high school. The one thing he'd like to say to his parents before he leaves is thanks for all the nurturing, but this little bird must now fly. Congratulations and good luck. Jerry Thomas son of Tim Thomas and Dana Martin, brother of Holly Gerton. What does Jerry plan on doing after high school? He plans to continue working at Coons Car Dealership in Platteville, Wisconsin. What is one of the favorite memories of Jerry's of Dodger High School? Was being able to hang out with friends and to enjoy life to the fullest. A major accomplishment of Jerry's was that he was able to graduate. His best advice to give to underclassmen in order to be more successful in school was don't be afraid to ask questions, remembering that teachers are here to help you. And Jerry's favorite quote is to live life to the fullest and focus on the positive. Ryan Toy, son of Randy Toy and Alex Frazier. After graduating, Ryan plans on farming. Ryan was involved in FFA and 4-H. And uh, best advice he can give any underclassman would be just do your homework. One thing that he'd love to say to his parents before he leaves the nest, thank you for all you have done for me. Dylan Wasley, son of Carrie Rowe Wasley and Wayne Wasley. Brother to Cor Wasley and Brianna Wasley. Dylan will be attending a two years or less at North Dakota State School of Science and Construction Technology. During Dylan's time in high school, he was involved in four different sports his entire high school career, and soccer his freshman year, and 
cross country his senior year, where he found a very fun, very supportive team. His favorite memory from high school is his senior year snowball dance and the day in general. His biggest accomplishment was to be involved in cross country and going to state his first year on the team. His best advice would be to join clubs, stay after school to play basketball, and make as many friends as possible. Dylan's favorite quote is if it's an evil world we live in. One last thing he'd like to tell his parents before he leaves the nest. Thank you for an amazing 18 years you guys have stuck with me through thick and thin. It's going to be difficult at college, but I think I'm ready. Alec Webb, son to Mike and Liz Webb, and brother to Emma Webb. After high school, Alec is attending UW Platteville for software engineering. While in high school, Alec participated in student council, theater, and trap shooting. One of Alec's favorite memories is just spending time outside of practice with theater cast and crew. One accomplishment that Alec is most proud of is getting out there and involved with new things because it let me meet new people and make new friends. Some good advice to underclassmen from Alec is balance your schedule to prevent overstressing. Alec's favorite quote, if it's stupid, but it works, then it isn't so stupid, Spencer Scott. And one thing Alec would like to say to his parents, wish me luck. Olivia Weihert, daughter to Carl Weihert and Catherine Biadish. Olivia will be attending UW Platteville to major in biology with an emphasis in ecology, zoology, and pre-vet, also seeking a minor in animal science. During her high school years, Olivia was involved in volleyball, FFA, Save the Rainforest, Spanish Club, and 4-H. Her best piece of advice to underclassmen to be successful is don't let your personal problems get in the way of what you want to achieve. And Olivia's favorite quote, the only rules that matter are what a man can do and what a man can't do. It is my pleasure to introduce McKenna Wetter. McKenna is the daughter of Jaren and Rebecca Wetter, and she has brothers Brady and Kale. After high school, she plans on attending UW-Eau Claire and pursuing a degree in marketing and business. During high school, McKenna was busy. She was part of dance team, key club, DECA, student council, current events club, and Spanish club. A favorite memory that she has from high school are the homecoming weeks and doing the themes for the sporting events. An accomplishment that she's proud of during high school is that she really pushed herself to step out of her comfort zone, whether that be trying new things or just meeting new people. Advice like she'd like to share with underclassmen is to have an open mind and try to be considerate of other people and what they are experiencing. A favorite quote of hers is by Eckhart Tolle, which is, if not now, when? And what she'd like to say to her parents before she leaves the nest is the following. When I was a little kid, my parents were my biggest inspiration. I wanted to be just like them and do everything they did. I am their biggest fan. I've always envied my mom's open mind and my dad's strong work ethic. They are both 100% the most considerate and selfless people that I know. They both continue to impress me every day, and I am so grateful to have them as parents. I would like to thank them for always being my number one support system and continuing to let me make my own decisions, even when they don't always seem like the smartest ones. As I'm finishing up my high school career, I know that even though I am not a little kid anymore, they will continue to be my biggest inspiration throughout the rest of my life. Congratulations, McKenna, and good luck in all your future endeavors. Michaela White, daughter of Crystal Johnson and Jason White, sister of Dominic White, Bailey White, and Ryan Johnson. What does Michaela wish to do after high school? She wishes to continue working in the healthcare profession. Her favorite memory of high school was the opportunity that she had to take in the Seeing Forward program with Bill and to finishing high school early. Her best advice that she would give to an underclassman in order to be more successful in school is that it's worth it in the end. And Michaela's favorite quote 
is if you want the rainbow, you have to put up with the rain. Congratulations, Michaela. It is my pleasure to introduce Ms. Jocelyn Whitehouse. Jocelyn is the daughter of Becky and Brian Whitehouse. Jocelyn will be attending Chippewa Valley Technical College to be a diesel truck technician. You go, girl. In high school, she was involved in volleyball, track, FFA, NHS, band, and has worked at Land's End. Her favorite high school memories are all the many walks with Lizzie Heimerl during Dodger Corps. Her favorite quote, if brains were gasoline, you wouldn't be able to run a fleas go-kart two laps around a Cheerio. And to her parents, Jocelyn says, thank you. Congratulations, Jocelyn. Kayla Wilkinson, daughter of Steve and Tammy Wilkinson, sister to Madison and Trent Wilkinson. After Kayla graduates from DHS, she plans to attend the University of Kansas and get her BA in history or go to law school with the hopes of becoming a lawyer. Her high school involvements here at DHS included volleyball, girls basketball, manager for the boys basketball team, key club, Spanish club, student council, presidents and captains, prom committee, and she also, also waitresses outside of school. Her favorite memory from all of her years in high school was senior year homecoming. She thought that her grade really came together that week and it was a great experience for her and her friends to share. One accomplishment from high school that she is most proud of was passing her AP exams because it proved to her that she was capable of more than what she thought she was. The best advice she could give to an underclassman is, don't be afraid to reach out to your teachers if you need help and make sure to be yourself. You'll make connections easier that way and having a good support system of teachers and peers is key to succeeding in high school. Her favorite quote said by Emily Dickinson is, that it will never come again is what makes life so sweet. And to her parents, Tammy and Steve, she has this to say, thank you for everything you've done for me. I wouldn't have made it here without your love and sacrifice. You don't go unnoticed and I love you both more than you know. Congratulations, Kayla Wilkinson. Chandler Earl Williams, son of Lynn and Kevin Williams, brother to Jordan Williams, will be attending a four-year school, the University of wisconsin Platteville, for physical education. Chandler was involved in cross-country, basketball, track and field, and Spanish club at DHS. His favorite quote, if you ain't first, you're last. And one thing he would like to tell his parents before he leaves the nest, thank you for all the support you both provided me for the past 18 years of my life. You both will always be in my heart, and I am proud to call you guys my parents. Carly Wolf, daughter of Greg and Peggy Wolf, sister to Connor Wolf. After Carly graduates from DHS, she plans to attend UW Platteville for athletic training and will also be playing for their softball team. Some of her high school involvements included DECA, softball, and the manager for the boys basketball team. Her favorite memory she has of her high school years here at DHS was a was the year that she tripped and face planted down the stairs in the commons. One accomplishment from high school that she's most proud of is being on varsity for softball all four years of high school because it shows that hard work and determination actually does pay off. Best advice she could give to underclassmen is don't take your four years for granted because they fly by. Her favorite quote is imagine not being a state champ. And to her parents, Peggy and Greg, she would like to say, thank you so much for everything you have done for me. Thank you for always being my biggest support system and always helping me reach my goals. Words cannot capture how much I love you guys, and I don't know what I would do without you guys. Congratulations, Carly Wolf. Vanessa Yeager, daughter of Michael and Tricia, sister to Logan, Chad, and Tessa. Congratulations, Vanessa.